Welcome back. Now, radio personality, music, DJ and podcaster Sol Penduga describes his new song, Lonely Nights, as soulful and nostalgic, while vocalist Anga Diajo says she was aiming to tell a story through her lyrics and bring herself closure, as this is a story close to home. Well, merging soulful harmonies with a pulsating dance beat, Lonely Nights invites listeners on a musical journey that stirs the soul and ignites, well, the dance floor. Joining us in studio to tell us more the masterminds behind that track, Sol Penduga and Anga Diajo. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Hey, Sama Uba, what's in your morning's host? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're now. Ah, we're good. I want to talk about how you guys met and how this uh, song came about. Tell us a little bit about that. We met literally through um, music, because mm -hmm. uh, I didn't uh, know Anga at all, that she even exists. Yeah. And, uh, okay. <laughs> Nice, That's true, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, a friend, a mutual friend uh, who works with them, he's based in the UK, Mutulisi Patrick. Mm. He was like, yo, man, these, these kids uh, that, you know, you need to hear and need to work with, especially because their sound uh, uh, is, is could go well with, you know, the kind of sound that I make as yeah. well. And, yeah, then that's when I got introduced to the names Anga Diago. I said Diago, Diago for the longest time. What is Diago? didn't correct you. No, uh -huh. I'm not Anyways. Mm -hmm. So, so it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah, then with, uh, she works with guys U North and K Soul RSA, um, mm. talented, amazing producer who did a uh, bulk of the work as well on the song. And yeah. uh, that's how I met them and uh, through music, and we've been cooking ever since. Mm. And tell us a little bit about the song. What is the song about? Uh, the song is about you thinking about that ex that left you, the, how they're most likely having a lonely night. And absolutely a song just about finding closure because it's about all the feelings that you go through right. after a breakup and maybe you're not talking to the person anymore, but that's really how you feel. Yeah. yeah. But who would leave you, man? <sighs> so who left who? You left him or he left you? They never leave me. <laughs> oh, I believe you. I believe you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, though. Tell us a little bit about the process of making the song and how were you finally happy with it to say, you know, musicians and producers, you guys are never really happy mm -hmm. yeah. until mm -hmm. it is, you know, get it to the final, final stages. Tell us a little bit about that process. Okay, cool. So the song started with the chords. K-Soul and, and North, um, you know, put together the chords. And uh, like I said, she was working with them before I even stepped into the picture. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... She heard the chords and she wrote the song on the chords and that's just the electric piano melody. Mm. And uh, when she, she conceptualized it, wrote the song, laid it in studio. And you know, it's one of those uh, the singer leaves the studio and they yeah. come back and the song is, 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 is cooked. And that's when the guys had sent it to me. Um, and I was like, geez, man, you don't, you never really want to overcook a song, you mm -hmm. know, you don't. And I was like, bro, the song is complete. You know, the song uh, is complete. And uh, she heard the final version and there's a part that was uh, uh, removed from the song as well, you know, but because we felt like, well, we feel like it's going to be too much and you've got to let the song breathe and yeah. we felt like the song had communicated the message and needed to communicate the message because mm -hmm. what you always want to do is communicate a message and use less words and less sounds and just keep it, let the song breathe. You don't want to overcook it. Yeah. Yeah. What did working on this process teach you about yourself and your love for music? It taught me that my favorite part about music is really talking about all the things that are on my heart and on my mind and being vulnerable. It's really scary, but yes. it's the stuff that people connect with the most. Mm. So it just made me fall in love with music again. Right. You know? yeah. And then music, how did it come into, how did it make its way into your life? Wow, I grew up in a family who just loves music. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a big family. It was like nine of us living in one house. Everybody listens to different music. Others are listening to rock, pop, Jeez. you know, just a bunch of different things. House music, R&B. So it's just always been in my life. And I've been writing songs since I was nine years old. So, yeah. And how did you finally find your identity when all that? Because there's so many influences, right? Yeah. yeah. Most of us grew up in a house where there was gospel somewhere yeah. in there. And then we didn't end up with gospel. I think that is a really great question because mm -hmm. I... It took me a while to find my identity because I was exposed to such a, a wide variety that I was super experimental. Mm. And uh, I think experimenting is what helped me find my sound. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So music, how does music find its way into your life? I mean, we know, so the podcaster, you know, radio. Yeah. 
to some extent, yes, music, but not as the producer or as the man behind it. Yeah, tell us a little well, bit about that. Bit. A lot of people don't. Uh, so the story starts in primary school, mm -hmm. when I grade seven, right? Yeah, yeah rap. I started rapping. You know? mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, very rap. I didn't even know that. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I used to rap. Yeah, None I of us did. I used yeah. to rap. So I used to rap. I used to go by the name of Savage. Uh, okay. When we were forced, so you'd know. If we're in Dangaya, I'm in your 30s, in your 30s. So I used to rap, and then um, a friend of mine introduced me. Oh, a schoolmate, in fact, Sabelo, introduced me to a software called Fruity Loops. It's now called FL. Mm. Um, and that's when then, because I was rapping and there weren't many producers around, I wanted to start making my own beats as well, you know? And that's when I started making beats, hip-hop beats. This is in high school. Mm. Um, and then um, Varsity went to UJ mm. and there was a, a big house movement and a house vibe, you know? It's when Euphonic had just, I think, dropped out of UJ, when Kenphonic were doing their thing it was massive and then around I wasn't meeting a lot of hip-hop producers you know that I met house producers and that's when I started making house music mm. um, and I was still making a bit of hip-hop worked with Slick on his ventilation mixtape produced some songs there believe it or not um, hip-hop songs and then um, I, 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 I was making house, then there was this movement of tribal house music, you know? I remember Black Coffee was still making tribal, Dula was very big at the time, then I was making tribal, uh, that resonated with me a lot, yeah. because I came from a sampling background, and hip hop you sample a lot, you yeah. know? And then uh, the remix culture was big, when the guys were remixing your, your, your Stimelas by Brahu, etc. Then that's when I was like, actually, I'm already sampling, and a lot of the guys here when they remix, it's tantamount to sampling, and that's how I got into uh, uh, the tribal house music mm -hmm. and then I got signed to Native Rhythms uh, this is in 2012 yeah. and I dropped my album then um, with a, a classic Uhuru it's like one of the big classics uh, as far as tribal house goes uh, you can check it out on Spotify dropped my album then in 2012 um, but it was, it was very tribal you know yeah um, and then I took a bit of a break in, in music uh, things in life went a bit pear-shaped and then uh, only now with uh, my return and I've returned in the form of a piano producer yeah. Because yeah. that's the sound. It's our sound. I love it because it's our homegrown sound, man. And you know what? Yeah. I'm going to cut you short because we're not here to talk. We are yeah, here. you have I want to. the music. You have to cut you me because I can go. Hey, 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 hey. I know you. My host on the show. <laughs> Free your host. <laughs> Bad Hop. Welcome to Morning Live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God, yeah, God. <laughs> All right, so Panduka is not talking <laughs> today. We want to hear his music. Uh, he is with Anga Diaho in studio, and they will perform for us a little later on the program. We have to take a quick ad break. We'll talk to our author after this. Stay with us. Over to you guys. <laughs> Yeah. 